for the 12 days of Christmas. This video actually was inspired by my sister, my, my blood sister. Uh, she asked me to do this video. She said um, she had been watching my video so far and she said she didn't think I had ever done one of these. So I said, okay, I'm up for the challenge. Whew. So you know how those of us who work in the real world, not just behind the camera or in front of the camera, but you know, us who have regular jobs, a lot of our companies that we work for, they do what's called holiday parties. Uh, they don't call them Christmas parties because you know, they don't want to offend people. Um, I get it, you know, it is what it is. And so oftentimes when you're getting ready for these holiday parties, um, they'll say, oh, we're going to do a potluck. And everybody's like, oh, my God, I don't want, you know, food from Jane because Jane has cats. And you know what I mean? So then, you know, we always ask, okay, so are we doing a gift exchange or whatever? And nine times out of ten in a holiday party, what is the gift exchange they do? The elephant gift. Well, guys, I have... When I worked for one company for 16 years, I went to so many holiday parties and so many elephant gift exchanges, it used to drive me crazy. I would say by the last maybe five years that I was with that company, us employees, we got hip to it. So as opposed to doing the whole elephant gift, what we decided to do was everybody in the office drink coffee, we would just go to different coffee shops. So depending on which one was your favorite, you know, not as that team, you might get that card. So we would go to Caribou, Starbucks, Dunn Brothers. Um, we had some uh, coffee shops in the Skyway and, you know, a cup of Java and some other places. And so we would just get gift cards, like a $5 gift card, because you couldn't spend no more than $5. Because uh, let me tell you, one year, oh my gosh, the elephant gifts were so horrible. People were like, for real, you know, this is crazy. And you had to pay for your own lunch. Now nah, I'm good because we were like, we don't want to do potluck. We want to go out to eat. So anyway, long story short. So I'm doing what's called a holiday party elephant gift exchange type of video today. Um, now you will be surprised that everything I show you is pretty much not a bad gift, but that's because of where I shop. So I will say tip number one. Know the people that you're going to be going out to eat with or going to the party with. Um, just get to know their personalities. You know, know what they like. Now, if they are a Christmas person, okay. Now, if you're pulling like numbers or names out of a hat, it's easier to do that type of gift exchange. But if it's an elephant gift party, yeah, you're going to be probably getting some ugly stuff. Because people just like, oh, I'm going to spend 2 $3 and call it a day. Um, so there's a few different places you can go for your elephant gift. I would say find out what your price limit is. If it's five dollars, fine, do a five dollar gift. So you got places like Five Below, you got places like Dollar Tree, you got places like um even Walmart has gifts for you know less than nothing. Target has gifts. Um I would try to find out if the group you're with, if they are Christmas people, because if they are, you can find some nice Christmas decorations or whatever for inexpensive. So I'll show you a few different things that you can use as ideas uh, for your elephant gifts. And they're not horrible, uh, but they're inexpensive, and that's the key. So first things up, I got this sign from uh, Target. So it's just a little uh, $3 sign. And it says, Mrs. Claus Cookie Company, or Made with Love, Mrs. Claus Cookie Company, bake fresh and serve nightly. So this is not a bad gift, and it's only $3, so you're not break, bake, uh, excuse me, breaking the bank. So that's one gift idea. Another gift idea, if you know the person is someone like me who loves water glows, here's another idea for you. So depending on your price range, you could go to Dollar Tree and pick up a water globe like this. 
And it just has presents inside and has little uh, snowmen on the outside. It's only a dollar. Now, if I was to be gifted this, I would love it because I love water glows. I wouldn't care if it would cost a dollar. It's cute. But if you're like, mm, they like water glows, but I don't want to spend a dollar. I want to spend a little more. Now, this one, let me see. This one I'm getting ready to show you actually was $14.99. And I believe I got this. Mm, I'm not sure. 70% off maybe, 90% off because I got it after the Christmas sale. But I got the red low card with the tree inside and it lights up. So that's another good tip too. If you know you're at a company where you guys do like elephant gifts, shop off season, shop often, spend next to nothing, 90% off, you're good to go. So that's another idea. Um, if you know they are a cold person or if they live in a cold area or if they just like to be snuggly or wrapped up, you can choose, if it's a man or a woman, you can choose some scarves. These are from the Dollar Tree. So I got the black and white and the red and black. This is a man's scarf. This is a woman's scarf. Only a dollar. And they're cute, okay? So that's another idea for you. And it looks like it's, expensive but it's really not um if you know people are like hat people little beanies or they like little fun sayings you can always pick them up a little beanie hat these came from the dollar tree this one says good vibes and this one says hashtag future so that's another idea and yeah it's a cheap gift but if it's cold or might get cold where you're at everybody need a hat even if it's just an extra hat, you know, keep it in your car. Um, another gift idea, like I said, if they are a Christmas person, you can go to the Dollar Tree and pick up some cute little um, stockings. So I have some Santa stockings here. And they were only a dollar. They're wrapped up. There we go. But only a dollar and they're very cute. I'm actually taking these to work so I can hang them up in my office. <laughs> hey, okay. Uh, Y'all know I'm an elf. I got to decorate everywhere I'm at, honey. So, cute. Four dollars now. Four dollars. Another idea, <clears throat> if you're with a bunch of ladies, and I don't know any lady who doesn't like Bath and Body. Now, y'all know Bath and Body be having all kinds of sales. And I know they just had a sale recently with their soaps for like $2.50 or something like that. And if you had a coupon, you got even more off. I know this candle sale is coming up Saturday, so that's another hot item to get. Um, but, you know, every now and then they'll have, like, buy three, get three free. So you can get, like, lotions and stuff. Now, this was a gift that was gifted to me last year, and it's still actually wrapped up in cellophane. Um, this is the Freesia. Is that how you pronounce it? F-R-E-E-S-I-A? I don't know, but... It don't smell like something I would wear. And so, you know, but I was like, kept it all this time. Um, but it was a gift to me. And, you know, if you're at Bath and & Body and you've already got yourself fully stocked, you don't got your gifts for whoever, but you need a, you know, an elephant gift. These are great gifts. You know, everybody loves lotion, especially women. Women love to smell good. I mean, come on now. And fellas, if you're watching, get your woman some Bath & Body. So, you know, get what you want with your sale items. And then when you got coupons or get your free gifts and stuff, then pick up some that, you know, you can just gift somebody. So, this is another nice little gift. And it's a full-size bottle. This is the eight fluid ounces. So, that's another gift idea. And get it when it's on sale. Don't pay full price. Don't pay that $8.50, $10.50, $13.50. $10 Don't pay them prices. Get it when it's on sale. Another idea for elephant gift is candles. Now, I just mentioned Bath and Body having a candle sale. So this weekend, I believe they're going to be what, $8.50, $8.95, something like that. And you know, I'm talking about the big candles, you know, the three wick candles like this, you know. Um, now, this is last year's wrap. So this is the Frosted Cranberry. Oh my God. Every time I smell it, y'all, I be in heaven, Jesus. And I got this during that sale. So, you know, if your budget is like $10, $8.50 for a candle, that's not a bad price. But if you don't want to spend $8.50, you can always go to the Dollar Tree, pick up a cute little candle in a mason jar. Now, this particular candle, this candle is still 
brand new. And this is also a cranberry cam candle. It's Cranberry Smash. I got this at Dollar Tree when they first came out. But it looks like this in a little mason jar. And then that's the little top right there. Sorry for the glare. But that's another idea. Um, I have some other candles across the room. I won't go get them. But, I mean, my husband and I, we both, we go to Dollar Tree. We pick these candles up. I love burning these candles. Um, now, their throw may not be that great. You know, you got to put it in a small space. Don't put it in a big, big room. But still a nice candle nonetheless. So if you want to spend anywhere from $8.50 to, what's the, the original price? $24.50. Okay, the original price $24.50. I know they had a sale recently, about $12.50, and then they're going down to, what, $8.50, $8.95. So, I mean, nice size candle for a decent price as opposed to that $24.50. Or you can pay a dollar. That's not a bad price. Or you can go to a place, like I said, like Five Below, and Five Below has all kinds of things. Now, I know Five Below has recently raised some of their prices up to, like, 10 10 below now. But some of their things, they still have pretty inexpensive. So, um, an item that was gifted to me last year, and this is brand new. I have not used it yet. I don't know why we haven't put it in the bathroom. But anyway, it's a Bluetooth LED shower speaker. And I know Five Below has different items like this. So, I mean, you could pay anywhere $5, 10 for something like this at Five Below. Boom, you're done. So, it looks nice. I mean, I'm sure this was very inexpensive, but, you know, it's still a nice gift if you don't want to seem like, you know, one of the ratty tatty people. Now, there are some people who deliberately go to the holiday party and they deliberately, I kid you not, they deliberately just bring the trash of the trash. They will go to, like, thrift stores and just get garbage and say, oh, here's a gift, you know what I mean? But if you want to be nice, if you want to, you know, if you want somebody to like you later, <laughs> don't do them dirty. Get them a decent, you know, inexpensive gift. Dollar Tree has nice things. I'm not that I'm sponsored by them. I would love to be, though. I'm just saying. But, you know, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target, everybody has, you know, their next to nothing you know, prices. So those are definitely some places to look for look for different gifts. You can even go to Home Goods or um TJ Maxx Marshalls, you know, look on their clearance tables and you should be able to find something inexpensive there too, depending on what you're trying to look for. You know, journals are a nice gift. Um the coloring books that the adults are using these days, you know, that's pretty nice. You can get you can get that at the Dollar Tree as well. Those little coloring books and then the um like colored pencils or whatever, that's a nice gift. Um, and yeah, so I hope that helped, you know, some people out with the elephant gifts. I mean, I know I didn't show you guys no ratty tatty stuff, but I'm just saying, you know, I try, I don't know, for me, I feel like everybody deserves a gift regardless of who they are. Um, I'm a big firm believer on making sure everybody has something to open on Christmas, whether it's one gift or whether it's five gifts. Um, and if you take your time and you really just search, I think you'll be able to find something that's worthwhile and not so horrible. Now, that's not to say that you don't did all that research, you don't did all that legwork, and then you come home with some garbage. I'm just saying, just so be prepared. Okay, you might have some some good thought into it, you know, get some nice little scars. You can even do a scarf from the Dollar Tree and a nice little Dollar Tree candle or a coffee mug and some candy. I mean, you know, just something inexpensive or you can get a nice cute little coffee mug and put a little gift card to the coffee shop in there. That's another gift. But don't be surprised if you come home with some garbage and just got to, you know, charge to the head and not to their heart, okay? This is the holiday season, okay? So we going to just be glad. <laughs> we going to rejoice and be glad in it, okay? So thank you guys for watching this 12 Days of Christmas. I know you're like, wait a minute, boss lady. This is different. Yes, it is, and I want to keep it that way. So y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.